All right, guys. So welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. It's so good to be here. Uh, I've been hooked on this iced coffee from uh, just from Cosentino's right down the street. It's just been delicious. What I do is I do one part iced coffee, and then I do one part regular milk because I find that the, the vanilla iced coffee is a little bit too potent for my taste. So we do some regular milk. Try not to spill. I usually spill, but then, bam, most delicious drink in the world. But yes, welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today is going to be fun because we're going to be talking about something that I really, really love. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about video right now, and that is the coloring process. I think it's really important to talk about because when I first started shooting in the log profiles and I started bringing home, you know, just really flat footage that had been compressed on the day, I thought that I could simply throw a LUT on my footage in Premiere, call it a day, export everything as well. I was very wrong because what I didn't understand is that I can't just make all my adjustments on one layer in Premiere, throw a LUT on. That's not how it's done. And now I feel like I'm finally getting comfortable grading creatively and creating different looks in Premiere. And so I wanted to share with you guys the importance of breaking up your steps in Premiere while you're grading. And hopefully it'll help you be a little bit more comfortable when you go to grade your own footage. So let's just go and jump right into it. With the I've had Mobamba stuck in my head for, for a couple days now and I can't get it out. So I just thought, you know, I'd have a little bit of fun, throw that in the middle, see who's sleeping on this video. Oh, I'm gonna say it was fun. Should I make more music videos in the future? You let me know. I had a lot of fun doing it. Anyways, let's actually talk about what we're here to talk about today. All right, so the footage we're handling today is from a shoot that I did in Manhattan. We'll be running through a fairly simple grade to take our footage from looking like this to something a little bit more toned in. So one of the first things that I do when I bring my footage onto the timeline, I go over to color. I pull up my Lumetri scopes, which I have right over here. Um, and then I'm quickly gonna run through the very first step that I always do, which is a quick color and curves adjustment uh, before I start any of my grading. So, I'm just gonna bring in a little bit more blues. I kinda, I, I kinda know what I want from this footage. Uh, definitely bring down a lot of those shadows um, that were lifted in log. Uh, gonna bring in a lot of blacks. And as I'm doing this, I'm kinda referencing my, uh, my scopes over here, just making sure you know we're sitting in a good zone, not crushing anything. Um, I typically like to bring my saturation up to 120, um, and that's just that's just based on kind of where my Sony A7 III uh, breaks down in log. Uh, so I find 120, 125, 126 is always always a pretty good place to sit. Um, so now that I'm done in basic, I'm going to come down to uh, curves, and this is still the initial adjustment. I'm going to I'm going to give us a little bit more contrast by bringing down my blacks just a little bit, and then bringing back up my highlights. Um, I don't need to do too much because like I said, this isn't my final adjustment. Uh, we're gonna come over to color wheels. I want a little bit more magenta in my skin tones, so that's gonna be more of my mid-tones. I'm gonna bring the shadows down a little bit um, so I get a little bit more blue in them. And then on the highlights, I'm gonna bring these over to the green side a little bit more. And we're not trying to grade the footage right now. That's, that's one of my main, that was one of my main problems when I first started is in this initial adjustment, I would try to make it look like the grade. And that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to, trying to make our initial adjustments. See, you can hardly see any difference. I might push it a little bit more in this initial uh, color wheels. So you can, you can see small difference. Um, and then from here, this is where I will begin to uh, bring in my grades. So one of the best things you can do when you go to bring in your grades is create an adjustment layer. Um, this way you can pull that adjustment layer over pretty much anything that you want. And I can extend it, I can contract it. Uh, it's just really great to have um, your LUT on an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go back to color. I'm gonna go to creative, look, click on it. 
Uh, I have my LUTs in my hard drive. So I'm gonna go to browse, uh, gonna go to hard drive two where I keep my LUTs, video LUTs. Um, and all my LUTs that I typically use, especially for fitness commercials are gonna be uh, from Danny Gewurz. I love his LUTs. So this is my favorite LUT is weight room. Um, this is what it looks like when I initially put it on. Um, and I'm gonna bring that intensity down to about 70. Uh, you know, this is just, you know, if you, if you have it at 100, sometimes it can be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna bring it up to 70. Um, and with his LUTs, uh, what I find is it makes my shot kind of green. So I'm going to initially, after, right after I put the LUT on, I'm gonna go over to 10, bring it up to nine. And you can see that difference right there. Green, a little bit more natural. We're going for natural on this one. Um, and this is where I'm gonna start pushing my grade now. So I'm gonna go and I am going to get another adjustment layer, put it on top. Um, I'm gonna have even another track. So let's go back to color. Now that I have this new adjustment layer, I'm gonna start pushing my look. So. What I think I wanna do is I wanna bring a little bit more blue into my shadows, um, but I don't wanna affect any of his skin tones. So I uh, selected for his skin tones under HSL color, and I'm going to put a mask so that I'm not affecting any of those tones that I don't wanna to touch. So now that I have that mask selected, I'm going to go over here, HSL secondary. Um, I'm gonna click invert mask, blur this so the adjustment is a little cleaner. And then I'm gonna bring this down in the blues. So uh, very quickly, I'm gonna click, uh, click and you can see, you can see the difference right here uh, just adding a little bit more blue, made it pop a little bit more. Um, and now I want to add another layer and I want to bring a little bit more color into his skin tones, correct that just a little bit. So I'm gonna go over to color. I'm gonna go to HSL secondary. This is, this is how I find the, cl the cleanest way for me to, you know, select, uh, select one color is is just to use HSL secondary. It's my favorite way to do it. Um, I'm gonna pop in a little bit more magenta. Let's play around with this. Bring in just, uh, I don't think I wanna bring in more warmth. Maybe just bring saturation up to like 103 or something. And I, th I think, think we're getting close guys. So this is our next shot right here. Um, What's really nice is I can just command C, command V, and there is the initial color correction. And then I can just bring over all of these changes and you have the, uh, and you have the same look from this shot to this shot. You might need to make a couple changes uh, like I might bring this down just a little bit um, but it makes it really easy especially since you were if you were if you were shooting everything in the same location with the same light which I was um, should be pretty easy to copy paste all of your shots and just work that way so this is the this is the final shot right here is him is him running out so let me go ahead and quickly copy paste the initial color correction over here. There's the initial color correction. And we're just gonna move all of these over. And you can see that our blacks are a little bit crushed. So I'm gonna go in. I am going to change that just a little bit. Bring up my shadows, bring up my blacks. Let's see where we're sitting. How's it look? I'm gonna go ahead and say that's looking pretty good. I am, I am happy with it right there. So this is, uh, this is everything. Bop, bop.
And from here, after your footage is graded, you can throw in some quick sound design, make it sound real neat. Bam, you've got yourself a cool video. And that's that, guys. Color grading is really fun, you know, especially once you feel like you kind of have the hang of it and you can start getting creative, playing around, creating different looks. Um, it's, it's a really good time. So I hope this video helped you to, you know, understand a little bit better how you can push your look and how you can potentially use the same footage to get several different cool grades. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Good day.